Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing this kind of dramatic, yet not so dramatic, day to night Mother's Day glam. I wanted to do a look that was inspired by Mother's Day. That is something that you guys also do and you are in need of a quick, easy, yet statement enough look to wear out and that photographs really well. Um, this is the look that I came up with. I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette. I use a lot of fun new products. I wanted to make this look very photo friendly, so I'm not using a lot of harsh products that will lend flashback. I use a lot of nice long wearing things and kind of show you ways to keep your makeup looking fresh. But yeah, before I keep blabbing, um, don't forget to please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you know when I post, typically Wednesdays and Saturdays at 9 a.m. Pacific time. Sometimes that changes, but typically 9 a.m. But yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this look. And without further ado, if you want to see me get this nice little Mother's Day glam, then please keep watching. Um, we're going to start off with the face makeup first just because... Why not? All right, so I'm going with my Catrice Prem and Fine Pore Refining Anti-Shine Base, and I'm just gonna apply this all over to my face. All right, since it's Mother's Day and we're likely gonna be taking pictures, I don't wanna really use products that have too much um, flashback, so I'll be avoiding really white translucent powders and typically foundations with SPF because those can lead to flashbacks. So I'm going to be taking the Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation. This is just my go-to tried and true, something that I know will last me a really long time and it smells amazing. It's my favorite foundation ever. So I'm just going to be taking two pumps of this on this BH Cosmetics powder brush that I like to use for foundation and yeah just going on in as you can tell it's a little bit too dark for me so i'm going to be adding my catrice prime and fine uh, makeup transformer drops like this and just rebuff that into the face All right, now for concealer, I'm going in with two different ones. I'm going in with the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Concealer in the shade C6 just for underneath my eyes, just because it's a little bit of a brightening shade. And I just really like to focus that in the inner corners because we can always blend it outwards. And then on my forehead and then to spot conceal like any blemishes and stuff because I've only applied one layer of foundation I'm taking the ColourPop no filter concealer in the shade medium 30 and I'm just kind of dotting over any imperfections that were not covered with my layer of foundation I'm going to blend that in with my eco tools I think blending sponge that's just the green one and yeah I love this because it has a little flat edge and then the long edge back here for like I don't know, bigger surface area, but I'm just gonna go ahead and blend this in. All right, now that we're all concealed and blended in and everything, it's time to set the face. Because I want to use something that's gonna be a little bit more photo-friendly as opposed to a stark white translucent powder that can provide flashback, I'm going to be taking the e.l.f. Prime and Stay Finishing Powder in the shade Light Medium. Oh, looks like this. Feels very, very smooth. Wow, and it's like a $2 powder. I'm very impressed, okay. So, I'm going to be taking my favorite pressed powder brush. Any dense powder brush will do. I'm just gonna dip it in here and just set it all over the face. And a tip I really like doing is brightening up the under eye and highlighting the center of my face with a bright banana powder, like a yellow powder. So to do that, my favorite powder is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette in the shade Caramel Toffee. I use this bright banana powder. And recently I've been loving my Juvia's Place Tapered Brush. I included it in my haul, which I'll link down below to set everything. So I'm just gonna tap this into here and then just go on in. This really allows your eyes to um, stay bright and highlighted and in photos it looks really really good like you can see a noticeable difference as opposed to not. 
All right, now that our base is done, I'm going to move on to the eyes before we finish the rest of our bronzer, blush, highlight, all that jazz. So let's get started. I'm gonna come a little bit closer and yeah. I'm going to be taking the Anastasia Soft Glam Palette. Looks like this, just a really pretty assortment of neutral day to night colors. Um, first of all, I'm going to set down my uh, concealer on my lid with a little bit of Tempera, this shade right here. Taking my Morphe M504, just my go-to crease brush. So you can see there's a little bit of fallout, but it's good. I mean, it's all good in the neighborhood, just as long as I blend. And it's not like a subculture situation. It's like these shadows do blend. I'm just going to set that all over my eyelid. Then taking my Morphe E27, I'm going to be going into the shade. I want to do something a little bit more on the mauve pinkish side just because Mother's Day is a really fun occasion to do so. So I'm going to be taking as my transition the shade Burnt Orange just to kind of provide that overlay in the initial crease color. So I'm just going to work that into my crease. Windshield wiper motions. And as I always reiterate in my tutorials, I have hooded eyes. So for me, I kind of have to create where my transition is because it's not like a defined crease. Like I kind of have to do that myself, but that's the beauty of makeup. You know, you can just kind of create what you want to. All right, once that's all nice and blended in, I'm going to be taking the shade Mulberry and adding that to my outer V. This is really gonna add some definition to just kind of open up the eyes and make them look a little bit bigger. And to do this, I'm going to be taking the Wet n Wild, just their eyeshadow crease brush. I'm just gonna tap that into here. So you can see there's a lot of kick up, kick tap off the excess and just lightly diffuse that in my outer V. And I'm gonna kind of drag this color inwards just because I don't mind that color getting kind of all over the lid. I want everything to look as seamless as possible. Now all over the lid, I'm going to apply the shade Rose Pink, this pink shade right here. And it's a really nice shimmer shade, but I want to intensify that. To apply this shade, I'm just gonna be taking this random Sephora flat shader packing brush. Any flat synthetic brush will do. I'm gonna spray this with Ofra Makeup Fixer setting spray. Just to enhance the color payoff. Ooh, a lot of product comes out. You do not need a lot. I'll probably use this for both eyes. Ooh, ooh, that payoff though. I'm just kind of carve out my crease with this color. All right, to make sure the edges are even and everything, I'm going to be going back in with the shade Mulberry and just kind of applying that all through the outer V and the crease. And to soften that layer up, I am going to take the shade Burnt Orange again, the shade we used in our initial transition, go back to my original transition brush, the M504, and blend everything. So the way I like to think of eyeshadows is I apply them in the steps that I do and then kind of reverse those steps. So transition shade brush, crease brush, packing brush, and then to blend everything out, go back in opposite order. Does that make sense? Just so that you're making sure you're going over your edges, you're going over your lines so there's no harsh lines. And just really kind of blowing that out. All right, so the lids are pretty much done. I'm going to move on to the lower lash line and we're gonna start with the shade Sienna. I'm just gonna put that all over the lower lash line with my Morphe 213. And then I want to kind of take this look one step further and tight line and waterline my eyes. So I'm going to be taking my Urban Decay All Nighter Eyeliner and I'm just gonna run that in my waterline and in my tie line. I'm going to take this ColourPop E9 and kind of blend out that lower lash line with the shade Burnt Orange that we use in our transition. All right, so that's it for the Soft Glam Palette on the eyes. Now I'm going to highlight the inner corner and the brow bone with the Ofra and Nikki Tutorials Everglow Highlighter. I'm just gonna be taking this lightest shade right here and popping that in with my ColourPop 
Doesn't have a name, but I think it's just a blending brush. All right, I am not going to put on any liquid liner. I'm just gonna go ahead and pop these Ardell Wispies that I just got in. Um, these are one of my favorite lashes in the drugstore. They're really, really amazing. Good quality, the price is right. And yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and pop these on and I will be right back. All right, so I'm back with my lashes on. I'm using the Ardell Wispies as I said and I'm going to fill in my brows. I actually just got them done but I'm not very happy with the way they look. I went to a new threading lady and I kind of regret it but I'm just gonna fill them in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer in the shade Doc Brown. All right, now that my brows are on, we can go ahead and finish the rest of the face. For bronzer, I'm going to be taking the Ciate Bamboo Bronzer in the shade South Beach. It's just this really nice, um, taupey, not taupe, but just like a really nice bronze with a little bit of glitter in the pan, a little bit of shimmer, but doesn't translate to the face, just has a really nice warm sheen. I'm going to be taking the Juvia's Place, doesn't have a name, but just this tapered brush. It's bigger than the other taping brush that I used to set underneath my eyes. You can see this one's a little bit bigger. And I'm just going to dunk this into here, tap off the excess, and just softly go on the cheeks. So you can see it adds a really nice bronze. I'm not going to harshly contour the nose. This is just something that I really like doing. And in photos, I really, I mean, for some people, it can make a really big difference. Sharp nose contour for me personally, it doesn't really make that much of a difference, but you do whatever you want to do in terms of that. All right, now for blush. I'm going to be making this new blush that I got from Flower Beauty. This is in the shade Warm Hibiscus. It's one of their Flower Pots powder blushes. And I'm going to be taking my Wet n Wild little blush brush that I spoke about in my favorites. Just gonna dip that in here, top off the excess. I love like matching my blush to my eye look. I'm going to go back in with the Ofra Cosmetics highlighter that we use on our inner corners and brow bone. I'm going to be taking the Morphe R36, just dumping that into these two highlights. You really do not need a lot of this product, cause watch. Look at that. Highlight like the bridge of my nose. Cupid's bow. And I love this highlighter, especially for occasions or going out because in photography, it really, your cheeks look insane, as you can tell by, I mean, there's lights pointed at me right now, so you can only imagine in flash photography, if you're going to dinner or even brunch and you are taking pictures for the occasion, like this highlighter is definitely a good way to go because damn, damn. Damn, damn. Okay. Let's go ahead and apply setting spray. I'm going to be using the Milani Make It Last setting spray and just set my face. With this stuff, you really do not need a lot and because it does have a high alcohol content, I try not to use too much. So three sprays is really all I need because the mist is so fine, it really gets a lot of surface area anyway. All right, for lips, I'm gonna be taking a really nice pink just regular pink color. This is the Ofra Nikki Tutorials Nude Potion Liquid Lipstick, and I'm just going to pop that on my lips. And because I kind of want to match the shimmer on my eye, and because this is a little bit too light for this, for my liking person, I'm going to go in with the ColourPop Lip Gloss in the shade My Jam. It's just a it's just a really pretty kind of shimmery metallic color. Just gonna put that right on top. All right, everyone, and that is it for this look. This is my uh, Mother's Day kind of daytime to nighttime glam. I use a lot of new products in this video and I really like how this look came out. I love the pinky shades. I think they're so perfect for Mother's Day. So yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Let me know if you recreate this look and I hope you have a great Mother's Day celebration for those of you who celebrate the holiday. Holiday. I personally will not be seeing my mother this Mother's Day because I live in Nevada and I have to work. Hi, and Maples, you're coming here, sweetie. Come here.
Oh, she's like, you're my mom for Mother's Day. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you really enjoyed this video. I really appreciate that. And until next time, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.